you are convicted in your heart for being a sinner. Yeah. Look at the way you're living. You're partying. Some of you got a second husband and your first husband's still living. You're living in adultery, yet you say you're a Christian. That's right. You know Christian. You're an adulteress. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I say, well, Pastor Jennings, my pastor told me most time when a preacher justified more than one wife, let's assure you he got him. Oh, yeah. Amen. A man can have more than one wife today. What use is getting married? That's right. That's right. That's right. A man can wake up and say, you know what? I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one. I'm going to get another one by 5 o'clock. I'll be back. That's true. He'll be with her for a couple of days. I'm going to get another one. Get another one. That's why they go to these dirty, no good religions that allow you to have a bunch of wives. And you know what these liars do? They use the Bible. Yes, they will. They go right to the Old Testament when it was allowed. There's a man, some, I think his name is uh, Dowie something, yelling about me in America. He says nothing wrong with having two wives, three wives, and four wives. Mm. He said the doctrine that Pastor Jennings is teaching that there's only one wife, he said that's a false doctrine. And he got over social media, he's supposed to be a pastor, and cussed me out. Mm. Cussing me out about multiple wives with a hat on, <laughs> with a golf cap on. He said, you mother so-and-so and so, and you got so-and-so. Oh, I tell you, they get mad when they come to giving up that spam. That's right. Huh? That's right. Why? They want all that meat to lay with. And they use the Old Testament where Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines, and uh, Abraham had an Egyptian handmaid named Hagar. They go to the Old Testament. Uh -huh. But here, one greater than Solomon came. And the Messiah was he, who the Hebrews called Yahashua Hamashiach. He was greater than Solomon and greater than Moses. And this is what he said in the 10th chapter of the book of Mark. Mark chapter 10, we're right in verse 11. You multiple wife lovers. That's why you folk love this, this meat religion. It's called a butcher religion. Huh? Like a butcher shop. That's right. Ham, hocks, fish, turkey, goat, everything. everything. Meat religion. Right. All them women just hanging up there just like on a meat rack. <laughs> huh? You go there to the butcher shop, to the oh, false yeah. church. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for uh, uh, red bone, thick thighs, long hair, uh, about, uh, <laughs> about a 34D. Oh, my Lord. You're looking at <laughs> Then he put it on a scale. Ha! Uh, and that scale start, starts killing. All right, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. You oh, like you man. got an old cheap butcher religion. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Your preacher is a butcher. That's right. He's a meat man. Amen. Glory to God. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. This is what the Messiah said. And he saith unto them. Jesus said to them. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever put away his wife. And marry another. And get another. Committeth adultery against her. You commit adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her if husband. If a woman put away her husband. And be married to and another. And you marry another. She committeth she adultery. She commit adultery. That's it. 